welcome to the Toronto website developer.com. I am Peter Yorsky, the Toronto website developer specializing in Drupal. And in this video tutorial, I hope to kick off a, a new video tutorial series that will be ongoing, unlimited, not uh, you know our typical 10 video tutorials. But what I'd like to do is just show you cool Drupal modules. So really, these, are, these videos are going to be two to five minutes in length, and I'm just going to walk you through some cool Drupal modules that I stumble across as I'm doing my development that I wish I had known about uh, when I was starting Drupal. So the first one that I'm going to show you is Module Filter. Uh, actually, a super popular module. I didn't realize uh, 104,000 sites report using this, and I only recently found out about it. So uh, what this allows us to do is just more easily administer the modules that we have installed on our site. And I'll show you exactly what that means. So go ahead and grab this download link. And once you do that, if you have the update manager installed, you can go to modules, install new module and paste in that URL. So I've already done that. So uh, with that, I'm going to go back over to modules and then I'm going to scroll down to the other category here. And you'll see I've got module filter, so I'm going to enable that. And once we enable that, we see we've got this nice Ajax table here that we can click through. We can see all of our modules. These are all broken down by the uh, categories that modules uh, in their info files say that they're a member of rather the package so we can click through all of these the even nicer thing is when we're on all we can type in filter list go ahead with filter and we get all the modules that have the word filter in it uh, and obviously you can uh, sort this by enabled disabled required or unavailable so this makes managing our modules list a whole lot easier Remember in the Ubercart series, we were constantly typing control F and trying to find the module that we were going to be installing. Whereas if we had had this installed, it would have been a lot cleaner, a lot easier to maintain. So hopefully this helped you. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up or a comment. Let me know if these are helping you. I'd appreciate the feedback because if this is going to be uh, helpful, I will continue on with the series. But if not, we'll move on to bigger, better things. So thanks very much and we'll see you in the next video tutorial.